Hey, it's Kelly again. We're back here with the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thou shalt be thwonked with great fervor and ferocity and holy righteous power. All right, that was fun. Uh, we should go to the Forgotten Temple now, probably. <laughs> but we got some horns, and no one could say no to that. Well, a bunch of royal weapons around here. Don't even have a royal bow in the book. Probably beats the zone I won in terms of raw power. Oh, we do have one uh, in our inventory. So why don't we have one in the book? Ah, screw it. I do like the the long charge we can do on this one. To, to make it go super far. So let's hang on to it for the moment, even though I'm probably going to break it in a bit. We're headed to the Forgotten Temple because it's not too far away, and we're going to grab any other shrines we see along the sort of synonymous path that that will take us upon. I see a great fairy fountain over there, which is worth uh, a pin, I suppose. And just so I'll actually... Oh, I'll swap it to the, the diamond now because that's what we've been marking them with uh, in, in part. We just had another one right over here, right? Yeah. Still haven't seen Hyder Tale of any of the musicians that will let us go into those, but I imagine that they'll we'll see more evidence of what we're supposed to do with that uh, closer. That's a really pretty looking bird over there. Is that all we have in the book? Is that the rainbow pigeon thing? Yes, it is. This is a really pretty area here. Um, I imagine since Rito Village is where they sort of asked you to go first, we're going to find a, a lot of important stuff like that. Uh, we're going to discover what we're supposed to be doing with it around there. So we'll know soon enough, in other words, because we're headed to Rito Village sort of uh, in a roughly now-ish kind of time. But first, I'm going to head to the Forgotten Temple because we're right here. They said there was a big statue here, which we saw, I believe, in Breath of the Wild, and I believe uh, they said something, they made they made some suggestion that this would help us find the glyphs or something. How you get in here, I kind of forget. Is it just open on the front over here? Yes, it is. Here we go. There's a bit of a hard air balloon device here. Oh, there's a Sheikah. Uh, people have already raided this place, and there are no more robots here, which is also nice. Lady Impa. Oh, Link, I am so pleased that you've come here as well. Uh, to be honest, Lady Impa deduced that there is something related to the geoglyphs here. It took some effort for us to get up here, but we managed it. But then Lady Impa grew impatient. The moment I took my eyes off her, she went deep into the temple all by herself. Once I finished mooring the balloon, I planned to hurry after her. How much more mooring does it need? It's pretty chained there, but if you say so, that actually there looks like it's more daylight. So I guess there's a more more there are more entrances to this place now than in Breath of the Wild. Any chance I could stealth this one before any of its friends sound the alert? Nope. Anyway, but uh, Master Sword bonking power is pretty uh, incredible. Especially with all my friends backing me up. Oh, wow, they, we launched it way sky high. Eok! All right. Oh, when you swing it, it actually does bring the the, the like the sort of image of whatever you have attached to it on. That's kind of cool. So you still get the, a fair bit of time with, the, with it showing the image as well as a fair bit of time with it looking like the Master Sword. Anywho, that was probably worthwhile because we want to be uh, gathering as many silver common horns as we can for the Master Sword. I mean, really, it, it, we would want something better, but they're they're the best easy thing that is that we have to get, I suppose. I see here a shrine blinky, so there's a shrine nearby as well. Chickaloo tree nut and ten arrows. How many arrows have we got now? 650! <laughs> Holy crap. We can make ourselves a little bridge here, but it's not necessary since we've got the paraglider. Oh, fruit. Uh, the, the whole finding f elemental fruits as opposed to elemental arrows has started to grow on me as well a bit, especially as you're able to throw them without an arrow. I very much like that kind of idea. That you can you can throw it in sort of like a, thro a throne arc or like shoot, shoot it in an arrow's arc. Either one is sort of a thing that works. Master sword with the Bacoblin, silver Bacoblin thing is one shotting all uh, all of these foes, which is nice. Some free bits, basically. God, I love all the wooden shield designs in this game. They just look so cool. I want one in real life. I, I wouldn't use anything a shield for anything, obviously, but I want one just to, like hang on a wall, one of those emblazoned shields or something. Dragon bone Boko shield here as well, which probably is better to fuse. Ooh, wild berries and stuff. To the end, then the soldier's uh, shield we have on this one. So let's fuse it to the end, uh, end of this Zora shield now. I love the Zora shield. It looks so cool. It's a shame I'm covering it with all this other stuff. <laughs> lady Impa, where are you, my friend? It's hard to climb this, Lady Impa. How the hell did you do it? <laughs> there we are. Go around that broken corner was much easier. Yeah, it seems like it's broken out from the sky somehow, right? Because there's a lot of ambient light in here. Oh, no, maybe my imagination. Either way, there's a shrine right in the, de in the depths here, which is nice. Not too far from where there was one in Breath of the Wild. I think Breath of the Wild is a little farther in, even. Oh, and there's Impa! Right beside it? No. Maya Sai Shrine, or Maya Si Shrine. Maya Si Sui, maybe? Hello, Impa! No, Link, thank you again for your help with the balloon. No problem! I, did you land it all right? I believe there is something related to the geoglyphs somewhere in this temple. I am searching, but so far it has been in vain. The chambers here are enormous, so it will be a difficult task at best. Uh -huh. Where could it be? Not to worry, Impa. I'll have a look for it. Um, you just take a rest. You've clearly been traveling a while here, but uh, first off, I'm just gonna hop my way in here. Our shrine is building blocks. Maya, Maya, see shrine, Maya, Sai shrine, Maya, Sai shrine. That's probably it. Building blocks. 
Right, we have a bunch of these. Can you fuse these? Weird Tetris blocks can be fused. Fun. Right, when you swing it, it does actually become whatever part you have attached to it. So I suppose if you if you attach something really long to it, you could extend the range of the Master Sword, which is cool. But it seems like other than that, fusing appears to work the same way with it as any other old device. Device weapon. Um, so what am I trying to do here by building these? Is it... Oh, I guess we make it the same as that. It's kind of like an extended version of one of those Korg puzzles. We make an extended... Uh, let me put this here. And then they went over here, and it makes the full thing, and then opens the door. But clunk! Oh, just like that! Bueno. Marvelous. Fabulous. Now. Now over here. Tra Ooh, track treasure. What am I doing? Don't be fool. I was being fool, but no longer will I be fool. Treasure is ahead. Oh, hi! Oh, hi there! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, I should have photographed you. You're probably a Captain Construct 1, aren't you? Wait, was there a... Should I not have done what I was just doing? That seemed way too easy. Should I not have fought them? Maybe... No, I mean, well, this is towards the Rito Village. So, again, we're probably going to be finding a number of them that are on the easier side. I shouldn't be surprised. Um, where, though, is the chest? Over here. Oh, is it up on that thing? So what you're saying is... I'm not using the blocks. I can do it this way. I might use the blocks. Yeah, yeah, perfect. <laughs> Don't need no stinking blocks, except for the actual main puzzle, which I will need the blocks for. Large on a charge! Sweet. We love them. We love they and thems. Uh, wh where did, um, all the chatter. Gotten did. It's been gotted. Oh, wow. Funky shapes now. All right, this one might take a bit more thought. Um, so if I, yeah, yeah, this one can go here, probably. It can go, it can be a little of that schwonking action. This one is going to be in a bit more funkalicious. So we want to... Maybe we can set this one in such a way that... Oh, yeah, because if we put it, like, here, then all of a sudden that other one has an actual spot, doesn't it? Eh. We might need a bit more refining to actually fit there, but if we flip this upside down now, it's perfect for there, right? Yeah. Puck-lunk! Ha! Ah! That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I figured that one would have to go in a corner, right, because of the way it's shaped. Two lights of blessing. Three, actually. I can't count. Thank you! Building our hearts back up in no time. Especially as we're gonna get another one from this Rito Village main quest. But as for the actual whole uh, stuff with all the glyphs and stuff here, what is going on in this place here on this very day? Well, that's the statue over there, surely. This thing here. No, it's a bunch of rock. Never mind. Oh, no, it is the statue. It's all overturned. Can I ultra-hand it back to where it was? <laughs> Guess not. Maybe I can talk to it while it's on the ground, though. Hello, ma'am? Are you alright? Have you fallen and can you not get up? The goddess statue has been toppled. Oh dear, that's us all? I just have to go tell her that the big one's dead? Oh no. We might as well head behind it and see what's there. It seems to have been blocking a secret passage. Oh, th oh, this is where, this is where the tears. This is where they gave the tears. That happened here, did it? This is one that didn't go into the sky. So will anything happen for us when we go here? Oh, is this where Sonia's grave is? Very interesting, then, that they, if they were playing the long con by calling this Forgotten Temple in Breath of the Wild. I mean, they probably didn't have all of Tears' details worked out, but... He did always have the sense that there was more going on here than they really talked about, so maybe this was... They had some idea this would be important for the sequel. Because they probably assumed they would get a sequel. I could have sworn her grave was outside. That's quite sad. That he doesn't even get to see the, the light of the sun anymore. Why couldn't they have put it over here? Oh, this looks interesting. Um, hello? Oh yeah, okay, here are all the glyphs. Uh, right, okay, so... I guess they'll show us what they all mean. Maybe once we, if we return here once we have them all, something interesting will happen. Oh yeah, they actually marked them all over here on the ground there. Ah, this place. Libby Impa, let's head down. We must investigate up close. Indeed, it's actually marked them all for us here. There are a whole bunch on the western side of the whole map. We're going to be able to see exactly how many there are now. There, upon the walls. Are those not geoglyphs? Mm, what could this mean? I'm more interested in the ones on the floor, actually. <laughs> hmm. I believe the one we saw first was the geoglyph on the left edge of the wall. So this probably tells us the chronology. As for the next painting, according to the floor map, it is near Rito Village. It seems the locations of the other geoglyphs in the wall are marked on the floor map as well. 
I can hardly believe what my eyes behold. Who could have guessed this old ruin still held such secrets? It is said that the geoglyphs appeared all over Hyrule during the upheaval when Princess Zelda went missing. Hmm. How are they connected to these images here? There is no time to dawdle. Let us hurry and investigate the remaining geoglyphs. Oh, uh, Lady Impa, perhaps you should rest a bit before such a trying journey? Link, if you happen to see a geoglyph during your travels, I urge you to investigate this matter as well. It's if more strange visions are waiting at the other geoglyphs, just like the one you already experienced. Well, perhaps they will provide us clues that could lead us to Princess Zelda. Indeed, I had the same thought myself, although I think I found her. You may not be prepared to hear where and what she is. What do you mean, what she is? Nothing! So we've got a fair number of them. Uh, this one here that looks like a Pura pad, um, is just east of the castle. Which would make it right around this stable here. I, we haven't seen gotten that one. Sword one we got. Rower is the first one we got. This one that looks kind of like Sonia here we've got. And the one that's getting down here we've got. And we've got Sonia's grave. So actually the only ones we're missing are Purapad and then these two. Is that it? And here's old mandibles that we saw earlier. So we'll be uh, getting into all of this stuff uh, very soon. What does this here read? A tear with a tear. Excuse me? <laughs> a terror with a tear, maybe? Or are they just saying that this memory here is very sad? Weird. How, why would these be here if maybe uh, Rauru left instructions that after Zelda... Because I would have assumed that these would have had to... Who left these here if, if they were made by Zelda after she became a dragon? The memories. I'm not sure. Anyway, that was probably worth the trip now that we know we have a better idea of where all the uh, glyphs are. In fact, why, maybe we just go and head over to this one now. Yeah, do you know what? Let's let's start over here. Let's go investigate this well. This get this cork and then head our way up uh, to over here and grab that uh, that glyph. And then we'll port back over here and start walking in around this area, if we have time. I should probably have more marked more slightly more carefully where it was, but I just saw there was an island in the middle of the water. Although we don't have the map around this place very thoroughly, so I guess that won't help much. But they're pretty hard to miss. <laughs> that was certainly well worth the journey, it would seem. It's cool. Like um, I think I've mentioned it once or twice before, but I really love the way they add depth to the the map of Breath of the Wild by adding extra rooms to buildings you've already been to and stuff like that, and adding basement floors. Very cool. So there's the well over there, and then there's that tower that the um, Korok was on. It better not start running again, I'll be very upset. A bunch of rocks are falling in the sky, we want to ride one of those up to the top of that uh, platform in a bit, for sure. I've never been quite clear, does it always only, like, remember the last 30 seconds? Or for certain special items like that, I think maybe it remembers a bit longer. Back flip into the well. <laughs> That's a blood moon coming. I think maybe you can't see when it's a blood moon if you're in a shrine. Because I feel like a few times we've seen a blood moon before we went into a shrine. And then when we actually got out of the shrine, it was gone. And it, it didn't actually message us at any point to let us know that like it didn't play the cutscene at any juncture. Oh, this is interesting. What's with all this here? It doesn't really go anywhere. Are we supposed to ascend up through here, maybe? Do the wells also get check marks on them when you investigate something within them? Or are they always just well-shaped? I think maybe they are. Oh, maybe this Satori's blue light thing only shows ca uh, the light of caves where you don't have the bubble frog yet. Is that it? Because I feel like I haven't been seeing them as often. Or maybe you have to just renew them every blood moon or something like that. Because I feel like I've not, I've, I've not been seeing those lights we put around anywhere recently. Anyway, oh! my search was inconclusive as to whether or not um, the wells have get a check mark on, any of them, on them at any juncture. There's treasure in there, which is kind of interesting and fun. Um, how does one be in there? We have to send up through by the look of it. Was I able to go that far to the left? I didn't think so. Oh no, that wall is cracked, so if we can get in through here. Ah. Oh, ha 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 Oh, why won't this thing just break? Oh, forget it. <laughs> it's defeated me. Anything else interesting in here, though, before I carry on? I suppose I could light this to any effect. Uh, let's see. It's Zelda. Sometimes lighting all the torches is an important thing. Uh, it's very lit. No one would say it isn't lit. Nah, seems that's all. Oh, we get... Oh, hi, everybody who is here. My name is not Markiplier, but I'll be your adventurer for today. Hey, yo! Master sword, master sword, master sword, master sword, master sword, master sword, master sword. I'm gonna be able to hack you apart, grab your bits, and then get a whole bunch more in a minute when uh, uh, this blood moon happens. So I'll only spin attack and get you all, get rid of you all, or not. <laughs> There's blood moon. Fight me again! I dare you. Rematch right here, right now. 
Giving you a chance to prove yourself and redeem yourself. Ow! Cut that out. Listen, lightning, bowie! Oh, that can hit me. Ouch. Sutton's putting the whooping on this. Uh, this one doesn't have any special effects, so go him on the silver one that I say. Hey! Ah, oh, I sent it too far away. Hey! Hey! Stop! Whoever's doing that, stop! Cut it out! Oh my god, I locked them out of the garrison. <laughs> Listen, all of you skeleton ones need to cut it out. And you! What, you think we're done? You are sorely mistaken, my friend. My fine silver friend! I missed! I missed big time! Go away! Nasty business is Blood Moons, but we're not gonna have nasty business here, are we, Cork? No, we're gonna have fun and friends. Alright, the fun and friends is happening now. Oh yeah, with the zone about I can just charge it up until it's pointing right at where I want it to be, and it'll just be an instant shot. I don't even really need to with these ones, though, probably. He says missing. He says missing again. He says missing a third time. He says missing a... Oh god. Maybe I should just wait for it to charge... Because it goes, when it goes far, it also goes pretty fast. Pew! Pew. There we go. Didn't need it for all of them, at least. Hi, hi, hi! Bye, bye, bye. Uh, do I see the glyph from here? I don't, but it was, it was surely right around this sort of central area, right? Or no, maybe it was even more in the, the mountain than I thought, but I could have sworn it was a bit more, like, near this watery area. Oh, right, I said I was going to go into the sky and see if I could get a better view on it. There are a bunch of rocks that go into the sky here. That's incredible that you can climb this thing while it's moving, and it actually works. Like, you actually do step above it and everything. Hmm. It brings us up to this island here, where there is no, uh... Ah, there we go. Oh, I already marked it. What am I doing? <laughs> there, was, see, there was a pin here, and I was just like, oh, that's probably not related. <laughs> I'm not very bright, am I? It'll be in one of the control sticks or um, the uh, center, I bet. And then there are only two more way over by uh, that big unpleasantness over there. Is that huge pillar thing there the one I've already got? Yeah, it is. So let's have a look at this memory, shall we? There are many more memories, it would seem, beyond the ones we can get from these tiers, right? Because we're missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Did we also get one when we completed a main quest, I guess? I don't think so. There must be other story events that bring them about, anywho. Maybe one for all the shrines, maybe one at the end of all the memories. Maybe one once you take down all, all of the temples and everything. Oh, look at that bridge over there in Akala. It looks so cool from over here. I bet right in the middle of that eye will be... Oh, actually, that the eyelash above the thing in the middle is very full in the way that it looks like it might have a memory. But I see a rock over on the right side, so... I think the camera stick is the one that's got the cork on it, but the memory's in the middle there. So this will probably be something Zelda showing them the poor pad, I guess. To what effect? We shall see. Probably something very cute. Hi, hi. And bye-bye. What's up? Mushroom? Bone. Bone is growing by tree. Bone, come watch this movie with me. Ha! Oh, I have to examine it. Ah, I'm sopping wet with tears. <laughs> that's probably not good for you. I just can't imagine that's good for your skin and stuff. Anywho. Get settled in, folks. Let's see what's happening here. I'm guessing it's gonna be a cute one because we uh, they get the poor pad, so there's, she's gonna be like, "Look, it can take pictures," and they're gonna be like, "Wow, that's so cool! Take a picture of us." <laughs> and we're gonna get a super cute selfie with Rauru and Sonia. It's Rauru holding it. Oh no, and that's just the Rizoni researcher. It's the Rizoni. Cette technologie est issue d'une autre époque. <laughs> Toutefois, je pourrais peut-être adapter la téléportation afin oh. qu'elle fonctionne aussi dans notre espace-temps. Satellites haven't been invented yet. L'expérience serait enrichissante, si tu veux bien me la confier. Oui, je vous en prie. Si cela peut vous être utile, dame Nero. This is the very same one that we ended up taking, right? So I wonder what uh, they did to it. Cela confirme que je viens du futur, n'est-ce pas? Et que je ne vous ai pas menti. Pour ma part, je n'en ai jamais douté. Alors dis-nous, ma sœur, existe-t-il un moyen de renvoyer Zelda à son époque En connais-tu un Si tu as pu voyager ainsi dans le temps, c'est certainement grâce à la pierre que tu portes. Hmm. Peut-être l'ignores-tu, mais les pierres occultes amplifient le pouvoir de leur porteur. Le mien, par exemple me permet de séparer mon corps de mon esprit. Fun. 
Apparently all the sages here can do that as well. la lumière qui dissipe les ténèbres du mal. Quant à Sonia, elle soumet le temps à sa volonté. Je perçois deux pouvoirs chez toi, celui du temps et celui de la lumière. Mais la pierre que tu portes n'en amplifie qu'un seul, celui du temps. So maybe she is a blood descendant of them. Ta pierre est puissante, mais elle ne peut que renforcer ce qu'elle trouve en toi. C'est à toi qu'il revient de connaître ton pouvoir. Elle ne t'y aidera pas. Je crains donc que si tu ignores toi-même comment retourner à ton époque... It's going to be a long road. La légende qui entoure les pierres occultes parle d'une pratique interdite connue sous le nom de rite draconique. Pierre occulte par un être ingéré voit la chair en dragon transformé. Ah. Immortel devant l'éternité. That's... It looks like it would be hard to swallow. Oui, c'est une autre façon de sense. traverser le temps, même si ce n'est pas la plus rapide. Et tu as très certainement des raisons de croire que cette légende est fondée. Oui. Mais vous n'avez pas encore entendu la fin. Qui désire un grand dragon renaître, sacrifie l'essence même de son être. Voilà pourquoi cette pratique est interdite. So why did you bring it up? <laughs> c'est une solution au problème qui nous occupe, c'est vrai. Ah, une façon différente de traverser le temps. You were just thinking aloud, basically. Mais à quoi bon regagner l'époque d'où tu viens si tu en oublies qui tu es? Je regrette. Je crains de ne pouvoir t'aider davantage. Hmm. Le problème reste entier. Euh... Mais je suis confiant. Traverser le temps, ça n'a rien d'impossible puisque tu l'as déjà fait. Que dirais-tu de te pencher un peu sur ton Sonia's pouvoir? pretty good at it. Just have her sûr que Sonia serait ravi de te servir de professeur. Exactly. So this one must be just prior to... Très bien. Zelda and Sonia. The, the memory entitled Zelda and Sonia, where she's kind of trying to... They're having tea and just kind of chilling out and she's kind of teaching her about it. Interesting. Very interesting. So now we know that's how you get... That's how you get dragons. You eat one of those. <laughs> Apparently. Upon contact with your stomach acids, you get dragonified. Or draconified. What an interesting thought. Oh, no, this was way earlier than that. I see. But it was, it was before Zelda and Sonya. Here, I see. How curious. So presumably, the memory we get... Uh, this is Tear of the Dragon 1. This is not a Tear of the Dragon. This is a Tear of the Dragon 11. We, at least Tear of the Dragon 10. Oh, but there... There aren't that many Tears of the Dragon left, are there? Oh, interesting, though. Tear of the Dragon 7, Tear of the Dragon 8, Tear of the Dragon 9, Tear of the Dragon 9. So one of these two isn't a Tear of the Dragon. This one goes 1, 2, 3, so this is probably one. And one of these two is Tier 8. So those are the two we're missing. Because this one also is Tear of the Dragon 10, 11, 11? So this one isn't one. So the two we're missing are uh, one of them in here and then one here, and then all the other memories we're getting from things that are not Tears of the Dragon. Very curious. But now that we've got that, I'll remove that pin, and back to what we were doing over here. I'm gonna grab the... Oh no, this this one isn't too high. We'll just head back to the this one that's up here. Cross the gorge uh, without going into the Forgotten Temple, and we'll head northwest, because we know there are two uh, glyphs that away, and the rest of the story. <laughs> 67 shrines, though, look at us. If we could get another one this uh, before this episode was out, that would be super sweet. Get another, get another heart upgrade, and up to 68 shrines, that would be... Mucho bueno for me. I do like these open, this open plans area there. Oh, is that Kilton? I've, we've seen him in the distance a whole bunch of times in the past few episodes, and I've gone, Oh yeah, we should go over there! And then not done it. I could have sworn I told you to hit the road, you smarmy fool! Oh, a little star defeated. Fun, so there must be some reward for defeating them all, is that it? Why else would it uh, uh, indicate us? Hey, yeah! Enough of you. Two royal weapons from this, uh, and this one's on its way out, so I think absolutely it is uh, worth grabbing a, a new one right now. Sign out a sword, you were good. Wow, you can be thrown far. Right, let's grab a royal halberd here. Durability at plus as well, I love that for us. Uh, silver common horn. All our weapons are going to be this at this rate, because we've just got so many of them. The silver commons have become such a common uh, foe. So many royal weapons that we're going to be running out of ones that aren't royal soon enough. We have to just flurry everything, otherwise we'll be wasting the royal weapons potential. I right, say so we hop over here and go, uh, we saw Jack Kilton just a moment ago across here. Do not start raining, I'll be so upset. See what we can manage on the edge here. And we'll do our best to find another Shrine of Light before this episode's out. Oh, this max stamina is actually very lovely. I'm glad we ended up swapping over here, even if it, even if it was just for the Master Sword. It feels right now. How easy it is to just throw ourselves up these mountains. Oh. 
Is there a boulder anywhere around here? So we can get this cork? There might be a boulder up. Oh, no, there's one over here. Maybe that's it. Everywhere in Breath of the Wild that there was one of these boulders, things you had to roll a boulder down into. At the top of where it was, they've just put one of these little things. That'd be kind of fun if that were the case. Kakunk. Yeah! Hello! Is that A team we've got now? Marvelous. See ya, cutie! Hey, <laughs> Calm down, mountain. <laughs> be easier to climb. Wow. Wow, wow! <laughs> Look at it. Getting chilly up here, it would seem. Probably walk this now. Yes, indeed, you can even see snow falling about now. Uh, right. Oh, and Shrine Blinky Blinky. Easy as, there you go. Here's the stable and all. Ah, oh, but where's Kilton? We were just looking. Was I losing my mind or does he, did he disappear? Maybe he wasn't quite this high up. No, I have no idea where we got off to, but uh, stuff it. Let's go get that shrine. And the stable and probably the well. Look at these beautiful horses around here too. Oh, is this a snow wolf? Have we got one of those already? Yeah, we surely did earlier. Is that just a bear? It's a grizzle mall bear, no less. We can get paraglider fabric from you. Hang on, let's get a slightly cool looking picture. Give us a roar, that's it, yeah! Aw, oh, no, damn it. All right, well, I'll take bounding towards me with at mock speed as well. Why are you not concerned with the, the, the wolf? That's a cool picture, actually, because it's it's sort of roaring and was stepping forward, and if you look at it in the logbook, you can also see the wolf <laughs> that's running away from it. <laughs> this breed of uh, honeyvore bear has a, a distinguished by its gray fur, even more ferocious than their relatives. They're commonly believed to be the most dangerous wild animal. They live in deep snow away from villages, so it's uncommon to encounter one. That said, if you do find one, you'd be better off not making a fight with it. I'm not sure this is away from villages. I disagree with your characterization there. Uh, I obviously want to keep that picture to go get the bear fabric soon enough. Can I ride you? I'm going to mount you. No, don't stab my mount. Sidon. Uh, look, you guys need to cool it. You're going to kill my... <laughs> the thing I want to ride into this... Eh, get over here, you. I can't come back. It really isn't fond of the whole attacking thing. I've never seen a bear run away from a human like this. Yeah, clearly I need to get higher if I want to mount this thing. Why do I keep slipping off of this? All right, you, come back here. Yeah, there we go. Good, good. Oh, calm down. Calm yourself. Calm yourself. There we go. Oi, cut that out. This is my bear. No, don't, don't hurt my bear. Beat my front wall greens and get away from here. Ah, cut that out. Cut that out. Oh, these ones are a lot stronger than the other wolves. I can't take it back. There are some wolves that in, and bears and stuff that are strong. Ha ha ha. I would like to register a new mount, please. <laughs> they probably won't let you do it, but I got to try, even if they didn't let you do the deer. Oh, it's such a shame they don't let you mount the, the bears. Or they don't let you disable them after they spend all the time to make them mountable. You can't careful walk with them, unfortunately. This bear does not look pleased. Oh, what are you so scared for? It wouldn't hurt a fly. Can I register this, please? Um, hello. I'm not sure. I think I'm safe. I'm not sure you guys. The customer service here could use some work <laughs> if, you, if you try and do the... Targeting walk it because you're on a bear and it doesn't do it. He just turns his head <laughs> No, 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 no. I will not accept this. Please bring me someone who will register my bear Look at his eyes as well. <laughs> and if you tap it a bit, he just goes like because the up and down doesn't work He just goes like so <laughs> is that a no one registering the bear I guess Well, goodbye bear. Um, please don't eat the dog. Okay. The dog doesn't seem fussed at all. Good doggo. Where's that trying enough anywho? Uh... Oh, there we are There ought to be a well somewhere around here too surely, right? Not a golden horse! So it is. Perfect photograph. You really are photogenic, you know that? An extremely rare horse with a golden coat, uh, coat said to appear only once every hundred years. This horse's exquisite appearance belies a rugged constitution that makes it adaptable to harsh environments. Highly alert and picky about who may ride it. Few riders could ever hope to tame this horse. We've got max stamina, so it should be easy enough for us, but... Um, hello. <laughs> a traveler. Welcome. What can I do for you today? This golden horse? My, you do have a discerning eye. This beautiful creature is no ordinary horse. It was discovered, tamed, and boarded by none other than Princess Zelda herself. Oh, how the princess adores this horse. And the horse loves her, too. You should have seen them riding around together. It was enough to take your breath away. The poor thing's been so anxious ever since Princess Zelda went missing. It's always trying to go out, no matter how late into the night. It's like the horse just can't relax. My theory is that it's trying to go search for the princess. Devotion like that's near enough to break your heart. 
So I guess they're telling us that at night it'll try and dip and we can go uh, we can go ca catch it at that point, I guess. I'm curious, this person... Oh, this is the first time we've ever been here. Reward! Yes, I'm curious Aww. if this person can style our horse's hair because usually it's someone who's standing over by the horses over there. Let's go, Cuban! Yeah, snow is going by in Rito Bl uh, Village. Ah, I think we'll be all right. Handling it all right here, it would seem. Even with my only uh, single level of cold resistance. Are you a horse stylist? <laughs> that looks like a no. Sorry, Cuban, you can go back in the warm now. Cool. Oh god, there's a Pacalman riding a horse over there, just there. Um, Orochium Shrine, though. Let's get into this one and ignore all the bad stuff. Courage to fall. What an interesting name. These doors swing out open like this. Um, if we trip these lasers, something surely happens, so let's give it a try. <gasps> I kind of thought, like, a boulder would roll down and that would be the falling part, but that's that. Well, at least we know what happens now. <laughs> So if we put something in front of it, maybe? Hmm. Hi. Um, this is a little awkward. Look. That's very, very uncalled for. One, two. <laughs> but hold on a tick here. Um, are they the same kind of doors as this where they can be, uh, recalled? Don't appear to be. It doesn't appear as though there's a way to get through this without tripping them either, unless I put something in front of it that will, uh block the sight line. But I don't see anything at the moment. But what is all this structure about here? This is very curious, isn't it? Oh, we can ascend up through here. I gotcha. And being at the top of here does what for us precisely? I'll not have the tri uh, treasure tracker on at the moment. I'm curious about what uh, we can find by, uh, by ourselves first. Interesting. We can hop down here. Well, why not? Uh, it'll be easy to get back to where we just were in uh, one way or the other, so... Oh, I should have landed more quietly. <laughs> Sorry. These doors can also be swung open in a similar way, it would seem. Uh, more of this stuff here. If I go, I can get over that. Um, oh man, this is a big mazy one. Sorry. I need to apologize to you as well. There we go. Sorry. Who? Who thinks they hear or see? Because you're wrong. You don't. These platforms can be recalled, but there doesn't seem to be any point. This feels very Breath of the Wild, this, this shrine. There were a lot more- I feel like there were more big labyrinthine kind of shrines in, in Breath of the Wild than this game so far. And on the whole, I think I kind of understand and I, I like the urge to make it a bit more like a very closed off small challenge. But it is nice to break it up every once in a while with a big one like this. So the real problem here is we don't know where the orb is. If we knew where it was, we could pull some shenanigans at some point to get it over there. Is this enough of a lip I could ascend through? It doesn't seem to be. There's a chest down there, which we absolutely want. Where could I find down? Wow, well I found orb, but we need a uh, uh, key for it, which maybe is uh, down. Ah, okay, so here, this will this will bring us down, right? That's what they're saying, courage to fall. You have to be brave the second time, because the first time was was nightmares. Is that the idea? Ah, I see. Ah, bring me back. There we go. Oh, this time probably not, though. This is probably death if you fall through here. <laughs> Just a bit of trial and error. Whoa. This ought to be a key, right? Powder infection. Is that the only chest in this place? Because usually there's also at least one actual treasure. Yes, indeed there is. <laughs> Nevertheless, though, it seems we want to be using the key on this, so I say we will. Uh, let's ascend up through uh, this ceiling here and see what it brings us when you go through here. It's because, merely because I'm curious. <laughs> oh, just on top of it. I see. I see. Okay. I may yet use the treasure tracker in a minute here because I do not believe I'm going to find it. Let me on! Because it seems like we've reached the end now. Once I put this in here, that opens, and then it puts. We can put this on the plane and fly it back. So let's put the treasure on and see if we can find it. Blunk blunk. So it's down below us somehow. Oh, but I'll leave that in here for now. Kachunk, as expected. That makes the plane available to us. But this all stuff. Oh, maybe it's somewhere along here somehow. Ah, here we are. Sorry. I had to do it to him. Oh, let that shield go. <laughs> you can't just cling on to shields the whole time. That's cheating, using shields. Who would use shields? Not me. I barely have any shields. It's not a shield in sight. I mean, these, these are... Look, I know it looks like there's two shields stuck together in each of these slots, but it's... You can't always trust your eyes, alright? Is that all of the treasure? It is. So all I gotta do is get... I flubbed that. Alright, I could use another shield. But first, what I could really use is getting back up to where that uh, plane is. Oh, the shield looks so dope, though! Look at it! I love the silver aesthetic that Zora have. The silver and blue. It's really sweet. So you get on out of here. 
Ooh, we could have sent it up through this as well. What would that do for us? Not a damn thing. Now it's time to fly this bad thing. I guess I can't call it a bad boy. <laughs> Strictly. Go thing, go! Let's do this. Yep. Oh, I should be ready to take this thing off, shouldn't I? And... Geronimo! Ow. Ah, I landed it in there. Perfect. <laughs> oh. Good junk. That was a bit of a lengthy one. That was fun. You are the best for court. And while we're here, um, uh, let's go turn in that grizzle maw fabric. See how cool the bear glider is. Whereas it's over this way. I didn't forget. Take a gander at this bear here. <laughs> Ignore the picture of the wraith and the wolf it's chasing. <laughs> I might keep that picture as well. That's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, uh, all these pictures are kept on the video, so I don't really need to keep any of them, but all tone. Oh, it's cute! <laughs> That's adorable. I love the color scheme, too. Um, I think I might have to go with the, keep with the dragons. <laughs> but look at it. Oh, yeah, Aerocudos and Stelnoxes. Gotta remember to take a picture of an Aerocudo next time I see it, because I bet they have a cool design. All yellowy and stuff. There gotta be other designs you get from quests and stuff, though. It can't just be the ones that uh, he's got there, because it feels like there should be way more. Maybe I'm just being... Greedy. <laughs> I'm asking too much of the game. I bet there's at least somewhere you could get the design from the previous game. Alrighty, my friends. So that is all we're going to be doing this episode. But it was a good uh, adventure episode. I think, was this the only shrine we got? Or no, we got this one at the beginning of this episode. Uh, they're all a blur. I don't remember which episode was which. There's just an icy glee all can run over there. So we've got a fair bit more adventuring to do around these parts now. You know what, might, what we might even do is just since we're going to be, we're soon going to be at the point where we've taken care of all the main quests and we're just going around getting shrines, I might actually spend even a few more episodes just being very thorough up in these mountains around here before we head down to Rito Village. Because we are, we are very soon going to be on the path of there's no more st story stuff to do. We just have to go get all the shrines and everything. We shall see, though. Twer a fine bit of adventuring we done did. Next we'll go on the channel is going to be our first episode of Kingdom Hearts Re-Chain of Memories. That's right. We're beginning it at last, and I am freaking excited because I don't really know what to expect. Um, well, I, 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 sorry. I know about 60% of what to expect, but there's a 40% that is very mysterious and exciting to me. So do come back for that and more Tears of the Kingdom. You know when, you know where. Soon and here. That's all for now, though. Thank you so very much for coming around. Hopefully I will see you around. Admiral's going to be out of here now. Peace! Sorry, okay. <laughs>